Good morning everyone. I have just come in from essentially a blizzard taking the dog out for a walk and it's April so that's that's fun. <laughs> the weather at the moment is just bonkers um, but then it always is a bit bonkers in the Scottish Highlands so what can you say? But anyway, I didn't come on to give you a weather report, although obviously I live in the UK and we're all obsessed with the weather. <laughs> I came on to tell you what we'll be doing today. So today I am going to take you with me to Inverness. So I live about 45 minutes south of Inverness now, but I did live in and around the city for years. Um, so I know it well and it's my favourite city. I just, I just adore it. It's the most northerly city in the UK and the capital of the Scottish Highlands and it's just great it's small it is quite small like it doesn't have all the big amenities I mean amenities amenities yeah that sounds about right <laughs> that a bigger city would have but that's how I like it because I am a country girl and big cities I find overwhelming I went to London a couple of times and I just was very overwhelmed <laughs> and lost so Inverness suits me just fine and as with everything in the Scottish Highlands it's still got like a richness of nature about it it's on a river it's got these beautiful um islands uh, that I'll definitely take you to they're called Ness Islands and I'll also take you to some other favorite spots and I do tend to shop more sustainably that's what I try and do as you've probably gathered in this channel nature is very important to me uh, I also work as a wildlife conservationist when I'm not doing this work so I do try and live um, sustainably, sustainably as possible. Living in a tiny home is obviously part of that. So I'll show you some of my favourite secondhand stores as well. There's this gorgeous um, secondhand bookshop um, called Leakey's that I'll show you because it's just wall to wall books in an old building with like a, a metal spiral staircase. So it's got that kind of Harry Potter feel about it so I'm definitely gonna go in there check out a few charity shops and also maybe show you some places I like to eat um, because I'm also vegan so I can show you some good places and it's actually a decent choice considering the small size of Inverness it's not, um, it's not too bad it's definitely got some decent vegan options but anyway I'm gonna warm up from my blizzard walk <laughs> drink my tea get my stuff together and we'll get cracking got to Ness Islands and predictably the heavens are opened and it is raining and hailing and snowing and all sorts so I think we're gonna do a pretty quick circuit luckily managed to eat my lunch before the rain started which was a really nice toasty vegan toasty from Perk uh, I think I've included a few shots of that one that's one of my favorite places to eat but now I think I'm just going to do a quick a double back and go into town and show you some of the shops that I, I like to visit as well.
to the car turned out to be quite a soggy day out <laughs> in Inverness this is why I only buy coats that are waterproof because Scotland but anyway I managed to miss some of the rain um, and went into my favorite wee shops I didn't come away with a huge amount which isn't a shock I wasn't um, I was keeping an eye out because I've got some friends birthdays coming up but I know I'm going to a craft fair type thing at the weekend which I'm very excited about um, <laughs> so I'll probably pick up a couple of bits for them then otherwise I just got a few goodies from the health food shop um, which is handy whenever I'm passing I like to get some bits that I can't always get in the supermarket and what else did I get? I got a book, obviously, um, from, not actually from Leakey's, from um, another one of the charity shops. I tend to always come away with a book, but I don't hang on to many of them. Um, if I've read it once, unless I really think I'm going to read it again, I either pass it on to a friend or re-donate it. But now I'm going to treat myself to a donut. So I'll show you, actually. Earlier, I went to Perk and I got a toasty, which I ate already, but I also got one of these bad boys. Look at that. It's a Biscoff, vegan Biscoff donut. Um, they are massive, <laughs> um, but they're so yum. And yeah, I, I pretty much always get one of these whenever I come to Inverness and best donuts, pans down I've ever had, so. Well, that's going to be my mid-afternoon snack. But otherwise, that's about it. I'm going to be going to see a friend this evening, which will be nice. And then we'll be back down the road to my wee tiny home in the countryside, which is just as I like it. I love coming to the city, but it has to be short and sweet now. I'm getting to the point in my life where I just need to be around nature all the time. <laughs> Um, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do like if you did like it and consider subscribing if you want to see more Scottish Highland content. Um, and I hope you guys have had a lovely day and I'll see you next time.